Hi, my name is Ed. In this video, we are going to set up an RC car made up of ESP8266 node MCU and being controlled by a blink cap. Before anything else, make sure that the packages of ESP8266 and blink are present in your IDE. In this exercise or project, you will need first node MCU motor shield board L293D. This is about 89 pesos in Shopee. Next is you will need ESP82 node MCU, uh, the one that can fit into the shield. Of course, we need car chassis with four wheels, but again, you can create your own material based on available in your household. Of course, you will need 18650 type of battery. You need two pieces of it at least and a battery for your node MCU. The following is the summary of all the parts we need. So the total cost of the project is 887 pesos or $40. Next is I would like to give uh, credit to uh, Hackster's account Andrew F. Uh, published in December 24 of 2017, namely the simplest Wi-Fi car using ESP8266 motor shield. In his page, he provided uh, the things used in this project like hardware components. He also provided uh, the software app like um, Blink and Arduino IDE. In this page, he also provided a quick overview and pinouts of the motor shield and he also provided information about the the location of the the pins where to connect the motor or the battery or the power supply of motor and also the node mcu he also provided the gpios since the motor shield will not expose the pins so he provided that information there where to connect them in the future he also provide connection and also the procedure on how to set up the blink app on using it uh, also the most important thing he provided the arduino arduino sketch and also a sample video of the wi-fi car testing This is the sketch that I downloaded from Andrew F1 Hackster page. So in here you have the definition of headers, but you cannot use this without the package. So let's go to File Preferences and then let's check the URL if I have the uh, the package for the Blink and also for the ESP8266. There you go. So okay okay let's go back to In this line you have um, an information that you need to provide the authentication token from the Blink app This one is an example for that authentication token This one here these two lines here are the definition of your Wi-Fi to where it will connect these four lines here are the declaration of the PWM A and B and the DADB uh, assignment of the pins. These lines highlighted are the corresponding GPIOs. Below, uh, under the void setup, you will have the definition of those pins as an output. An important note, there should be no other function or sensor to avoid disrupting the blink activity to the cloud. The next lines are the handling joystick data from blink app. 
So these are the following behavior and combination of X and Y. In here you will have the, the combination of X and Y integer. These code lines are exactly the same from Hackster's page, uh, from Andrew's F1. The difference is I made some changes and arranged them based on uh, the function uh, for me to easily locate them. And here's the reference. first problem I encounter is all related to batteries so it is important to make sure that you have enough energy my solution to that is to use 18650 batteries or you can use power bank another issue is wiring issue so make sure your wirings are properly distanced to avoid shorting my next plan is to improve the project by adding sensors to avoid obstacles and preventing the RC from bumping all the time. The motor shield provides access to the GPIO so you can actually add more sensors on it. And lastly, thank you for visiting my video and hopefully we will meet again.